Well, welcome back, everyone. I'm Doug Reardon. And I'm Janice Allen. A drive-in movie theater in cold water is ready to open up as the weather gets warmer. They are ready, but they say they haven't been given the green light, despite other theaters opening across the state. Our Lauren Edwards joins us live after meeting with the owners today. Lauren? Doug and Janice, we did get a chance to meet with the owners. Actually, it was yesterday we went out to Coldwater and just talking to them about their business. And you guys may remember them because they opened their drive-in movie theater, which is incredibly popular, to several churches. And they hosted Easter Sunday there. People inside the cars, of course, practicing social distancing. And they're thinking, you know, they can do the same thing if they can just only open up their movie theater. But that has to get approval from the state first. We can't open. How can you show movies you can't open? Um, so yeah, that's our dilemma. Susan Magos and her son Michael hoping to get out of their dilemma soon by reopening their family-run drive-in movie theater, the Capri. It's a hot spot, not only just here in Coldwater, but believe it or not, people travel from almost 150 mile radius to come here because we are their drive-in. But lately, cars have been driving away. So Susan created this sign on Monday asking for the public's help in getting the governor to approve their reopening. And we can really social distance. I mean, seriously, in a car. Okay, so we can do that. And so, um, so we're just hoping and pleading with the governor to let us get open uh, as soon as possible. Especially when others in the state are reopening, like this one on the east side. The Magos say they can do the same thing while staying six feet apart. This year, what's huge is actually we have a fan food. It's where we can actually deliver food out to our customers now or they can pick it up. So that's definitely can help keep everyone safe. So they don't go inside the snack bar. And considering schools can't host graduations, they discuss honoring seniors on their screens, which are close to the size of Olympic swimming pools. At least we can acknowledge all the seniors that did all the hard work, gone through all those years of schooling. At least they can be recognized, you know, and do a little slideshow on the screen for them. While people watch on the lots, which can fit 900 cars, they say it's all about bringing people together and history. Remember, the drive-in started because of the automobile. Well, what was more important to Michigan than the automobile? We need the support. We need people to come out and support us in that very short season. But first, they need the green light from the governor's office. And with the weather getting warmer, they're hoping it comes soon. People say, well, you know, they have this stimulus and you can do that. I don't want the money. I want to get open. I want to run my business. So we have reached out to the state because, again, guys, they need that approval. And we were just asking, you know, what are the guidelines for drive-in theaters to reopen? Because people can be six feet apart and watch a movie at the same time. We're just waiting to hear back from them. But they are serious. The Capri is serious about hosting those uh, graduations and things like that where they can just put people up, put the, sp uh, the pictures up on the big screen, and people can honk their horns in celebration, you know, and giving the seniors the, the honor that they need to get after completing, you know, high school or college or whatever. So if you want all of that information, you can head to fox17online.com. All of their contact info will be there, a link to their page, all of that. So reporting live here in Kalamazoo, Lauren Edwards, Fox 17 News. Thanks, Lauren. That'd be a great way to honor our local seniors, wouldn't it? Certainly would be, and oh. a good use of the space in the meantime, too. Yeah.